G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks. Now I'm gonna show you my next project. I know I've just shown you my last mock and I've already moved on to the next one. If anyone watched my live stream on Sunday, they would have seen that I started work on a roller coaster mock. Not just any roller coaster mock, a mock to end all roller coasters. All right, not quite, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. I like it, I like where it's going. Uh, my idea is, that I've started working on, and that's what I've got in front of me here, and you can see some of it here, is a Pirates of Barracuda Bay roller coaster using the ship and the outbuildings as basically scenery for the roller coaster to go in and out of. And I've started setting some of it up, just playing with it. I've literally laid out the track, like the track. Um, started just putting some bits in just to see how it works. It's gotta be dismantled and put in properly. I've got to get proper base plates for it, which is going to be probably just on water. I think I'm just going to do it on blue water pieces and then start to build it out. And I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it works. Uh, now I'll go through a couple of ideas I've got as well while I'm building it. Uh, what I want to do to try and make it a bit different from other roller coasters as well. So what I'm going to do is say, if you see anything you want to ask a question about or make a comment on, do it as you go through the video. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Uh, and I'll remind you again at the end of the video. Let's have a look at this roller coaster. Given the size of my little Lego room, I've had to move right the way back here to try and fit this all in because it's a bit large. I think the next video I do, I'll be doing this on a different table somewhere. But to give you some idea of what's going on, you can see there's the Barracuda, right? Slap bang in the middle with the crew hard at work. Roller coaster comes through the middle down here. Here's one of the bits of the side build that I've incorporated here. This is just me testing how things are going to sort of work. I wanted to make sure the ship fit and the roller coaster could go through the middle. Um, this I just had the idea earlier on and wanted to try it before this video and it, it works. So as I say, when I move to blue plates, I'll transpose all of that onto the plate so that it's not actually sitting up on these plates like this. Now, one thing I have realized with roller coasters is they do actually benefit from being on a, a sort of more solid brick set foundation before going onto the base plate. So I think what I'll probably have to do is build out some brickwork along sort of each side. If you look at sets like the Pirate Roller Coaster and the Big Red Roller Coaster, they both have that. So that's to be decided. Um, I've got one more build to use from the Pirate Bay as well. And I think this is probably gonna be for the loading area here. I'm gonna sort of make it this whole area here. Um, and then that way everything's kind of in the view. And I'm thinking here, I might just do, they go into a straight into a skull and up there sort of a cave and comes out at the top. Just thought that might work nicely, but then again, that's gonna require a hell of a lot of bricks. So possibly not the best idea. Maybe save the skull for somewhere down here. I think having a skull in the pirate scene is an important feature, but it takes a lot of bricks and a lot of space. So I have to think about where that goes. But what I've tried to do is keep the loop quite compact and it doesn't look that compact, but trust me, it is compact for what it's going around. I didn't want to end up building some monstrosity that was right the way up here like Big Red because really I felt like the ship needs to be the star of this roller coaster, not the roller coaster track itself. The track going round and through it is a cool idea but actually having it up and round and things is is not going to work i did also consider sort of running it different ways through the boat and to be honest i just felt this was nice it was simple it made the boat kind of shine the crew goes you go straight through the crew and then it loops around then you get to see the whole ship in its entire glory i think that works really really well uh, one thing with this as well the roller coaster goes up here there is a flat bit at the back, so it's gonna to have to have some push through there to get through, but once it's around there, it goes all the way around, no trouble at all. Uh, incidentally, my passengers in here are Kaz from Blockhead UK and my good friend, Dr. McBrick. So just wanted to make sure that they were recognized for being the test passengers on this train. Now, one thing I wanna do Lego uses chains to do these up and down bits, which is fine, it works. That's how sort of wooden roller coasters and things are done. But modern roller coasters use launch systems, which are magnetic systems that fire the cars up. So they'll go up here and they'll actually be accelerating as they go up here, which will give it momentum to go around there and down the track. That's the idea in theory anyway. I wanted to have a go at doing something like that 
obviously not using magnets but I'll do it using wheels probably to accelerate it up here and make sure it's got enough momentum to push around there that's my theory that's what I want to do I want to try and do something a bit different I don't just want to put a clunky chain in here I'm sorry like it works but it's just a chain I want to do something a bit more interesting and try and actually get some speed up around the track but I think that's looking really nice as a concept so far I think that track layout is working well for me um, there's not sort of it's got enough to keep around it's got a good interest points as you go around I love like how this is looking here just playing with that idea yeah I think this sort of having the trees and things just sort of over the track I think it's going to look really nice when I build it out the question is what I'm going to do sort of behind here not so important really maybe I'll do the skull up there but then it feels a bit like the pirate roller coaster maybe it doesn't need a skull maybe I'm just overthinking it and I should focus on the island ideas and just have little islands of of features down here we've got the rowing boat as well down here with the shark that kind of thing those little scenes that always make roller coasters sort of come to life and things like that so yeah I'm pretty excited with how that looks in terms of the track colors I've used I've got purple, I've got grey obviously, uh, the grey ones actually came from, two of those came from the pirate roller coaster and the rest I believe came from the space rocket launch so I will probably swap them all out for purple because I've got lots and lots of the purple pieces from when I was doing the roller coaster previously so I'll, I'll swap that out and do that. One thing that is annoying with roller coasters is things like this long straight here don't come in the purple they only come in the short straights which is annoying so you have to buy three straights or two straights instead of one which puts the price up but anyway different problem so yeah that's what i think i'm going to do go with the the purple all the way around and swap those out um and yeah i think the ship sitting there let's just look at i think that's a beautiful scene i think that works i think that's gonna look fab if i can pull it off and put everything in the way i want to it's in my head uh, this is a, a sort of labor of love project that's probably going to take me a little while to to get right but i want to do it in stages and share these scenes so this is where you're at now i think what i'm probably going to do next is focus on just getting a train running around the track properly automatically i think getting that mechanism working first is probably more important than trying to get the scenery right just because i don't know how big it's going to be there and if i'm going to have to extend it up around there or not i hopefully won't if I, if the mechanism works well enough it'll kind of go and launch around that corner which I can see is slightly off balance there because I put this in this column in here just before this uh, this video and I think that column is just slightly higher than it should be so again that's something I've got to work out I was trying very hard not to modify the ship at all I thought that was, again was a very important thing for me was to keep this as is it's a magnificent boat and it should be kept that way hope you like the idea of that roller coaster I, it's an idea I had when I saw the Pirates Barracuda Bay originally and I always wanted a theme park it, there is one behind me in progress beginnings of and uh, this is going to be one of the key pieces originally I had planned to use the Pirate Roller Coaster set as a foundation and combine it with this but as I went through it I realized I didn't really need to I can keep the Pirate roller coaster i'm going to bag that up and put it aside to use again in the future when i have more space for the theme park so i can have two roller coasters in my theme park how cool is that um but yeah it's just a project i've wanted to do for ages you know i started doing a roller coaster ages ago and it ended up being massive and spaced out and then i sort of i digressed off it because i moved rooms and it got knocked about and i didn't go back to it and so this was a chance to start again had a theme which made a big difference originally i was going to use unikitty but yeah, Unikid is not the most popular thing, let's put it that way. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this and where it's going. And if you've got ideas, if you agree with what I've said or suggestions on how to improve what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, if you're new here, hit subscribe, post regularly. And don't forget to give this video a very important like and share it if you think it's awesome. I'd love people to share it. I get in trouble for sharing on Reddit all the time. If anyone wants to do it for me there, go. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and here's a couple more videos I think you'll enjoy.